Hi, welcome to the ProVal Smooth Assurance Training. This is the fourth video of 12 videos that covers how to use the ProVal Smooth Assurance module for developing grinding plans. This fourth video will essentially follow along with section four as described in the guide to using the ProVal Smooth Assurance module. Section four is titled ProVal Software Versions. So, Proval has two versions of the software that are available, 3.5 and 3.6. Obviously, 3.6 is the latest, but for Caltrans users working on hot-mix asphalt projects, the official recommendation is to use version 3.5. We won't make any recommendations for contractors. They can decide which versions they want to use. For concrete, version 3.6 will work for Caltrans employees, or 3.5. So, we'll just... We'll discuss why here in a second. So to get to the ProVal software download site, just type in www.roadprofile.com. If you can't remember that two months down the road from now, just Google ProVal software and you'll find this link. So when you come to their main web page, at the top of the screen you'll see a, a selection for software. When you click on that, you'll get a drop down. If you select download ProVal, you'll get the latest version, which is 3.6. If you select the previous versions, you'll get you can find the choice for 3.5. So if you're Caltrans and you, you're wanting to download Hotmix the ProVal software for Hotmix asphalt grinding analysis, make sure you download 3.5. Okay, so why why do we recommend 3.5 over 3.6 for Hotmix asphalt? So, this screen here shows the smoothness assurance screen for the two different versions, 3.5 and 3.6. So when we look at this screen and we select under right quality IRI, what that does, it gives us a choice of analyzing either the left or the right. When we're under version 3.6, it doesn't give us a choice. It just combines them. So if I have a rough right lane and a smooth left, excuse me, a rough right wheel track and a smooth left wheel track, you know, I'll have a lot more grinding in the right wheel path than I will the left if I use version 3.5 to do the analysis. If I use version 3.6, I'm going to get a report that's not going to tell me what lane it's in. I'm just going to, it's going to just tell me start here and end here. I won't say left or right wheel path. I, I didn't mean to say lane. It's not going to tell me what wheel path it's in. It's just going to give me the start and stop locations. So with hot mix asphalt, it doesn't really matter. We can grind a half a lane width. But with concrete, you have to if you have to grind in one wheel path to reduce ALR, you have to take that grind all the way across the lane for the 12 feet. So that's why 3.6 will work for concrete. But it can overestimate the amount of grinding for hot mix asphalt by a factor of two. So this is a 3D rendering, at least what I attempted to draw here, of an existing profile that was in ProVal. So we have, a, we have the inertial profiles plotted before and after grinding of the right wheel path and the left wheel path. The dark blue, the bumpier one is the prior to grinding and the pink is after grinding on the right wheel path, similar on the left wheel path. So one thing I need to explain real quick here is when you see these plots being parallel to each other, that just means there's no grinding going on. That has to do with how ProVal plots the profiles. Typically, when you have it plot the profiles, you have it use a Butterworth high pass filter so that you can see the exaggerated vertical scale. So when it goes to plot the before and after, it, it doesn't plot them right on top of each other. And that might be just so you can see you know that there's two that there's actually two profile grades so anyways we've got a right wheel path plot where the bump is prior to the bumps in the left wheel path and we can see that here it starts in the right earlier than the left these are the locations where if we took a zero head height grinder modeled in the pro valves where the grinder head would intercept the two different locations so in the right wheel path I would start at this location and end at this location 
left wheel path, I'd start here and end here. So if I have, if, if I didn't have to do a grind in the left wheel path, and I had, I had to do a grind in the right wheel path, again, I wouldn't be able to tell from that printout. So, you know, that's why 3.5 works for HMA better. If this were concrete, if I had a grind here in the right wheel path, I'd have to carry that grind all the way across. So, so anyways, hopefully that provides a better explanation. And and we can we can see that on these plots here. This was the plot from version 3.6 where it combined the two wheel paths. And it these were. And when I ran this same profile in 3.5, I got a start location after that point and a stop location further down the road. We could see these stations. In 3.6, it just gives me the outer limits of overlap, overlapping grinds. So that's the primary differences between 3.5 and 3.6, and that's the end of this video. We'll move on to the next.